Very anyway, good. Anyway, we have a cool segment here. Yeah, we're talking about DNA. It's, it's you know, everyone talks about this. We see it on all the crime shows. It's such amazing technology, and, and now it's starting to become more and more accessible, more affordable for everyday people. Don Bandcamp is here with us with Colorado DNA. Thanks so much for joining us. Tell us, tell us what is, um, what's new with DNA? What, what is, why is it more accessible to, to everyday people now? That's what I want to know. Yeah, because you used to just work for crime labs, or you'll work for police or attorneys, but now mm -hmm. people can call you. Right. Actually, I've seen a change from. Uh, 13 years ago when we used to draw blood a lot, it took us an average of around six to eight weeks to get the results in. And now we could get the results in in less than 24 hours if need be. Really? Uh, there's PCR testing that we do now, and it's very easy now. Uh, we All we do is when people come in our office. Now, well, hold on. Before you even do that, when people come in your office, in other words, we're marketing now to the regular person at home who can call you for DNA testing. That's the thing I want to get across, oh, okay. is that this is available to consumers, right? Right, right. Okay, right. so someone comes into your office. Why? Well, Why do I want a DNA test? There's uh, reasons for, like, paternity testing. That's the majority of okay. what we do, to see who the father is okay. of the child. And but so what would happen then? Um, then they would come in okay. for a legal test, one that they could use use for court, first thing we do is check their ID, make a copy of their ID, take a picture of them, uh, do a thumbprint of them, so we're identifying the people that were done uh, on the test. And how do you test them? And then all we do is a simple swab of the mouth nowadays, and we just swab the mouth, and it's just a, a cotton swab here. Can you do an actual swab for me, please? Oh, yeah. I all can, right, let's uh, do an actual one so people can see Okay, it. so open, and it's just like that. I do it about 15 times. And then I stick it right in the envelope, just okay. like that. We do four of those. We seal it up. So no it. blood? No blood. As simple as that. Really? See, and, and I, 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 I bet you a lot of people think you need blood. Yeah, but I, I you don't. Have is, there to, ever, right? is there ever a time you need blood for DNA testing? Yes, yes, there is times where there's like a crime scene, or if it's a coroner kit, uh, they have a blood card. We do that as well. Why we is send that? I mean, is it more accurate to get blood than a, you know a swab inside the cheek, or is all the DNA the same? It's accurate. Actually, okay. it's easier for us to handle this than blood. First of all, we don't have to refrigerate this. We don't have to worry about it being. Um, exposed to bloodborne pathogens and this is just as accurate. All we do is simple, throw it in an envelope, let it dry out. We want it to dry out. Whenever someone collects a DNA sample, we don't want it to be put in a plastic bag. It causes moisture and it causes bacteria to grow. We're unable to amplify the DNA. That do you way. have a walk-in lab where people go in or they call for an appointment? How, they do, how does it they work? They do need to make an appointment. The reason for that is we want it first is um, some people want it very confidential. They want um, right. other people not know that they're having this done. There's restraining orders at times. So we do ask that they make an appointment for these tests. Um, okay. And so in other words, a, a, a dad might come in or an alleged dad saying, I don't think I'm the father. I'm willing to give DNA. And then the child and mother would come in. Exactly. They could come in at different times. It's not a problem now, because we're taking pictures. We identify them. They, they know who we're testing. And the chain of custody is good enough in your office to go to court? Oh, yeah, it has to be a uh, strict chain of custody. It has to be uh, And I mean test. chain of custody of the evidence, of the, yes. of the DNA. Yes, yes. Okay. Um, reason is uh, to hold up in court, it has to be from the American Association of Blood Banks, the AABB. These are the results that have to be done, so they hold up in court. So these are results, the, the accuracy is what, 99%? Oh, yeah. oh definitely. If, if we get the mom, the child, and the alleged father in our office, our average is greater than 99.999%. Wow. He is the father, or zero, he's not the father. And you were saying besides paternity tests, uh, you're, you're really seeing a, a, an increase in people coming to you right. for immigration services. Yes. Tell us a little bit about that. Why would they come for that? Well, what happens is they're a U.S. citizen, but they're petitioning to get the uh, child over here from another country. The documentations they have is just not right in order, so they are going to have a DNA test done. What happens on that is they have a case number through immigration. We uh, then go to send a kit to the U.S. Embassy over there in like okay. Kenya, and then they would send the a child over to the embassy, have it tested over there, then we get the sample back oh. to our lab. Then we have to send the results back over to the embassy. So that strict chain of custody has to be there. Can you give times. other examples where people would come to you? You have, well, how, how do you help with drug testing? Oh, uh, for this it would be like um, if they have a positive drug test, 
we could compare the blood sample to see if that blood sample was theirs. Okay. And so we do a profile with that. And what else can you do? We also do uh, forensic testing for like an airbag. If the insurance company uh, is questioning actually if the car was really stolen or if the guy really just took it for a joyride and wrecked it, we could take the airbag and test that. that? We, yeah. we, test, we test the airbag okay. and we get a profile off that airbag. And of we, who was driving. Yeah. And then we compare that with the owner of the vehicle. If he said his car was stolen. Oh, he said his car was stolen. And then but they can prove that nobody else really sat there yes. and nobody was there. So he him, doesn't want to get owner. blamed okay. for the accident. Mm -hmm. So insurance companies can use you for that. Exactly. And consumers can use that to check on their kids. So how affordable <laughs> is, is this for consumers? Yeah. Well, you know, yeah it is very affordable now compared to like 13 years ago. It used to be six to $800 mm. per test. How much is a paternity test? For, uh, for a legal test, it's averaging between four to six hundred dollars if you call around you call these 800 numbers they're out of state we're local they're going to find a location and you don't know who you're going to and us we charge 375 for our legal test 375 and that gets the the, the alleged father the mother and the child Correct. all three of them for uh -huh. 375 yeah that's the total okay. cost all right colorado dna services 303-233-4897 i know this is kind of unusual saying hey you can have dna testing done but it's a great thing to know you, you, for your attorney for yourself uh for a child advocate when you're going through custody and the number is 303-233 4897, and you see the number along the bottom All of the right, screen. Yep. And Colorado we DNA a, Services we, online. Oh, Bonnie. Okay, we're being told we got a quick phone call, so please okay. go ahead, Bonnie. Hi, Bonnie. Hi. What's your question? Well, it would be say, if I came in and had a DNA testing done, then how would I go about, where would I need to go to get that checked against? Existing DNA records uh, in a crime or in a custody or in a in a in a in a paternity or maternity test. What are you are you speaking about a crime or are you talking about a child? I'm talking about myself looking for my oh. paternal family. What would she do? First, she needs her sample. Yeah, we do need her sample, and um, you would have to. We are not like a person that missing, you know, right. people. We don't. Find you don't them. compare it to a data bank somewhere. No, no, we don't. In other words, he can't take your sample and send it off to and compare it to a data bank. Is that what you were thinking? Because they but can't. If, but if she has her DNA sample, can't she take it to to someone where there is a bank of DNA samples to compare it to any uh, possible relatives? I think she sound, sounds like she's trying to find. Uh, I don't know. They have that. They don't have the banks family? of DNA samples, do they? No. The only ones that we know of is CODIS, and this is the one for the FBI. For um, people who have been who have been um, arrested. Correct. Uh, but if she had an old DNA uh, results and she. We could run her test and compare the genetic markers to see if they do match. Or if you meet someone and they're willing to take a test and you suspect you might be related, mm -hmm. you can do that too. But it has okay. to be with their consent. All right, Don Van Camp, thanks so much for joining us. 303-233-4897. All right, so getting new windows is an easy way to boost your home's value. But the actual process of buying and installing can be a complete nightmare. But there is a company here that sells, designs, and installs your windows without using any middle in. And your window is put together right there, right here in Denver. We'll tell you all about it coming up next on Martino TV.